You know, this is a moment for America, for everyone that has been working really hard over the last four years or have been waiting for leadership, have been waiting for empathy and experience um, to come to the administration, to come to back into leadership in this country. Um, as we all watch, there's an energy, there's an excitement, there's a moving forward again for so many folks who have been waiting for today, who have been waiting to send off Trump and to start anew in America. I'll come on to whether they can turn the page. But, Ron, we were talking earlier, and Cathy was making the point about uh, looking at to that election campaign and uh, the amount of people that voted for Donald Trump. In the end, the Democrats picked right, didn't they, in terms of uh, Joe Biden? He was perhaps the only person to bring together a coalition big enough to beat the sitting president. Good day once again, Matthew. Yes, I think that's right. And we reflect and, and realize that Donald Trump received nearly 74 million votes, uh, which is at a historic level here in the United States. But yet and still, Joe Biden was still able to beat him by more than 6 million votes. Why? Because I think Americans wanted to turn the page. They gave the upstart the opportunity uh, to come in, the non-politician. And at the end of it, I think many Americans said, you know what? We want to return to civility. We want to return to normalcy. Hence, we see the swearing in of the 46th president of the United States in the form of Joe Biden. And we're seeing pictures of Joe Biden and Jill and the vice president and her husband uh, as they edge towards those uh, capital steps. Uh, we're about a minute or so away from the end of the program. So a final thought from both of you, uh, Amanda, first about how easy or difficult it is to be to turn the page. The president-elect absolutely clear the task is to bring America together again. Is that a possibility in the near future or is it a generational thing? It's going gonna, it's gonna to be a journey one step at a time. And I think what you saw today was a realistic view of it starts with everyone coming together in church this morning as a very first step, something we haven't seen in a long time, that kind of bipartisan coming together. But I think everyone's well aware that this is a journey that we're going to have to take together, and it's one step at a time, and today it begins. Ron Christie, a final word. I think with the divided government in the United States uh, Senate being as divided as it is, the House being as divided as it is, it's going to be up to Joe Biden to see whether he can bring the political leadership together to give the American people the leadership that they have been so craving for for so many years. But at least today is a brand new start. Well, thanks to both of you. We're edging to the end of uh, the program here before we join a BBC News special. And there, absolutely the scent uh, of your picture, the new team, the new president and the new vice president. And uh, as they climb the steps, we are edging our way to the inauguration of a new American president. The 46th president, after such turmoil, over the last uh, few weeks and months. A beautiful Washington morning as we head towards inauguration.